Konnichiwa, buenos dias. Uh, this morning was weird. I woke up and I felt like I want to record balanced. I want to record vinyl with the prism in balanced mode. And you know why? Because as I mentioned in one of my prism videos, you have the option to uh, change here the 80 hertz filter to RIAA de-emphasis filter. So what that means is you can record vinyl directly with the prism. And so I was, uh, I was curious because so far what I've been doing, and, and you see the prism is here because I'm, I'm using it as a, like a, a hi-fi solution as well for uh, the conversion. And I'm using some optical cables and some trickery to, to get data from my computer to here without any noise and any, any problems. And I'm using uh, 192 24 bit. So what I normally do with the resin nowadays is I use it as a preamp. And so the, the, uh, the turntable itself is connected through these RCA cables. And then the low level signal is um, amplified. And then through the booth output is sort of like a secondary balanced output. I'm recording everything if I want to, right? So I'm, I'm using both the D and the AD uh, stages of the prism. Now, the, the, the PLX 1000, even though this is not like a, it's, it's not a techniques for sure, but it's a very good sounding table. And interestingly enough, yesterday I measured it with a multimeter and it turns out it's fully balanced. So the, the tone I'm wiring and everything on the back in terms of the, the RCA outputs are balanced. So what that means is the uh, RCA shield is, uh, let's say, the white cable over there that you see, and the other one is the, the opposite side, right, of, of one channel. I was uh, recording the end of the first song and then the beginning of the second song, which is one of the most famous songs from Coltrane. And I was listening to the quiet parts, right? The in-between parts. And, um, and obviously you have the tape hiss and everything because this is uh, directly made from the, um, the analog master tape. But interestingly enough, using the prism directly in balanced mode <clears throat> turns out to be noisier. Um, it's just one thing that it doesn't sound as good. Um, and what I mean by that is, is um, the higher end of the frequency spectrum is just simply dull and that might be due to the inductance uh, of the inputs. Now, PRISM suggests in the Emmanuel that you should be using the line inputs here, the jacks, for um, MM cartridges and then for MC cartridges due to the impedance, uh, you would be better off using the microphone input, which is separate on this interface. And then you could also be using in an unbalanced way the instrument inputs over here if you wanted to. So all of those three have a little bit different electrical, electrical properties. <clears throat> so far, it looks like recording through a, an interface like this directly with an RIAA curve is not a good idea. And, and um, yeah, I don't know. I, let me let me just make a quick recording. Um, with, with this setup, and then I will get back to you.
so as you can tell um it's uh well it's not really worth it to use the uh the balanced inputs um at the end for some reason the the line um so the jack input when i was using that had even more noise um than than uh, the the reference recording the first one using the reser um and then using the mic input as you heard um caused a, a huge tonal imbalance um but even accounting for that and level matching as best as i could you've heard that it's um it's still not worth it so still the best sounding out of all three is the original setup that I had, which is unbalanced going into the reser and then to the prism, using it as an analog to digital conversion or converter. So there you go, there you have it. Um, <laughs> I, I wouldn't say that using balanced is a fad. I mean, I use balanced and, you know, uh, pros use balanced everywhere and uh, it makes sense for a microphone level as well for some reason, um, and I, I can't really explain. This time, it just didn't work as I thought it would. So I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions or any comments, then leave it down below and uh, have a great rest of your day.